speak on the bill. The lady is recognized to debate the bill. I've sat here and listened about safe, healthy access. That's exactly what this bill is about, whether you believe it or not on the other side. Poor women should not have any less access to clean conditions, to sanitary conditions, and those who can afford to go to that one facility in Asheville that you talk about that would meet these requirements. Let me just give you some of the organisms that are life-threatening that can be transferred from unsterilized medical surgical equipment. Staphylococcus aureus, which can be methicillin-resistant. Streptococcus pyogenes, which is the flesh-eating bacteria. Chlamydia. Neisseria gonorrhea. HIV, herpes simplex. President Fisher, please state your purpose. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, point of order, I... The lady may state her point. Thank you. I, I guess my question is, are these not things that could happen anywhere, not just in clinics that provide abortion or abortion services? Uh, Representative Fisher, the uh, chair is not a medical professional. I, I think that the... Uh, the lady is trying to suggest that they do at least happen in these conditions, and if the conditions are not sterile, that, that I assume from her comments that they may be more likely. The lady may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll answer that question. Yes, these can be organisms that are transported in other clinics, too. But other clinics of the ambulatory uh, status and licensing are different than what these certified um, North Carolina abortion clinics are. They have higher standards. They're inspected not only by our public health department, but they're inspected by uh, CAP and Joint Chiefs and some of the other inspecting groups that, that they um, do their proficiency testing and all through. So these are not, um, these are organisms that, uh, many of them vaginal organisms that can be transmitted from patient to patient. Do these women not deserve to not have that kind of an operation where they have to go in there and wonder if the equipment is sterile or not? They have been through a lot. They have made a hard decision. And when they go